Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is a brand new. If you ever want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you're going to see what is new and what to look out for. I'm pretty good about linking that down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below. And I've been asking you guys if you wanted to share a picture of your fur baby or scale baby, you can do so through Instagram. And I've been adding some of those pictures at the end of some of my videos. Before I start, I wanted to point this out because I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask about it right there. That is my latest uh, DIY I've done using all Dollar Tree products. I have a quite a bit more to share with you, so be sure you check back on the DIYs because I have so many cute ones. And this is Josie for those that are new. She is the youngest of three doggies here and she's seven years old and she's a French bulldog and she is a spoiled little blur butt, aren't you? Can you say bye so mommy can show him what I got at the dollar tree? What do you think? Huh? You have a lot of goop in your eye. Why do you always get so much goop? Huh? Why do you always have so much goop? This is why it takes me forever to get anything done is because that poor little face. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, mommy gotta put you down. Okay? Alright. Okay. Oh, whoa. So many, I don't even know where to start. Well, I guess I'll start with um, some of these garland, Easter garland, that is. They have a few different ones, but these are amazing. Um, I think these are like 70 inches long. I don't know, I'll double check, but I will put the um, sizes down here. But here's the first one. This one has uh, carrots and bunnies. Now, if you don't want to use it as garland, you don't have to. You can cut the twine off and you can repaint these if you want, or you can add these to other picture, picture frames, um, scrapbooking, pieces of wood to do your own thing. So don't think you have to keep it the way you buy it. The other one they have are these adorable plaid bunnies with the little cotton tail. I thought that one was really cute as well. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it the way they are. I might end up painting them. Um, the other one, actually there's two more. This was my favorite one. I bought two of this one because I've given um, one of them to my daughter. But this one is all black and white plaid. And these bunnies are like setting up um, on like the other ones. They are you know, just standing on all fours. So I thought that one was really cute. And then the last one are the eggs. So you get, let's see, six eggs in there and you get, well, six, looks like you get six, six, and six of everything. Well, that's a horrible number. Um, but yeah, paint these, put your grandkids' names, put your pet names, put your kids' name, uh, names on there. So that's an idea on what to do with those. The other garland they had were these. Um, they're the plastic eggs, but I definitely will not keep it the way this is. Um, you, you can untie it, you can make it longer, or you can just cut the twine, take all the eggs off of it, and do something else with it. You can buy multiple ones of these and maybe spell out a word, your last name or something. Um, I'm not 100% like sold on this, so that's why I gotta definitely do something else with that. All right, the next item, this is ages three and up. It is a toy collector showcase. Look how cute these are. Now, you can use these for the little figurines. You can use them for the cars. You can use this for your crafts. And what else is really cool, I bought two of them right here. And they hook together if you want to hook them together. You open it up. And they are divided so you get six squares. Or you can take that out if you wanted longer ones. So say if you have like paint brushes or markers or makeup brushes, sponges, any of that kind of stuff. And I think these come out as well. So yeah, 
these come out, these dividers come out, all of them come out. So you can just have one big plain box. But if you're like me and love to showcase little figurines and that, I am going to do a different background and you can put little figurines in there or, you know, different kind of DIY. So that is what I plan on using for these. So yes, these do come out. So don't think you have to keep it that way and always be sure you think outside the box. So I did buy three of those and I was so excited to find these. And when I did, I messaged um, a YouTuber, Bethany, because I know she loves Nickelodeon as well. So I just wanted to give her a heads up. So Bethany, I hope you're able to find these, but these are the uh, little fake tattoos by Nickelodeon. They have Ren and Stimpy, uh, Rocco's Modern Life, uh, Hey Arnold, Rugrats, I'll go ahead and lay them out right here. These are ages four and up. You get 25 per pack. They have so many different ones to choose from. I've already done a DIY. I'm going to do that in a separate video because I think these are so cool. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever heard of anyone doing any kind of DIYs using tattoos. So be sure you keep an eye out for that video because I have so many DIY videos coming your way. I've been making a lot of stuff and I have a big pile over here and it's just like, it's, uh, well, I'll show you really quick. I'll glance over here. So I still haven't shown you my new studio here, but this, you'll see all this stuff over here that I've been working on. So yes, I spent about six to eight hours a day working on these DIYs. All right. I wanted to show you guys these Easter signs. Now, I don't know if it's because the prices went up to $1.25, so they're getting better quality items, or I don't know, maybe they're just deciding to do better, I guess, but these signs are by far my favorite ever. These are amazing. There's three different ones, and they have so much weight to them. So this one is black, blue, and white. It says Cottontail Farms Annual Easter Market, Bunny Trails, Carrots Candy, Bunny Parking, and Back. You can kind of see how thick this is. I mean, this is just an amazing, amazing quality. And then this one right here is my favorite. I bought two of this one because I'm giving one to my daughter. But this is Cottontails Pick Your Own Carrot Patch. Again, that's done in the black and white. And then the other one is Bunny Trail Farm, open nine to five, locally grown, farm fresh eggs and produce, established in 1920. Five. Now these would be really cute if you put some of those garland pieces. So let's say this one. So maybe take some of these bunnies and put on there or the eggs or whatever. So that could be something you can decorate a wall with. And I think it's been amazing. All these wood products the Dollar Tree has been carrying, like the plain wood. So now they have this good, well, it's called wood plank board, but there are two of these. And again, I'll put the sizes right down here, but there's so many different things you can do with these. You could get four of them, make like a box and use it as a planter. Or you could do it this way and make a wider, um, not as tall planter if you want. Or you could put, I don't know, maybe tennis balls in there for your dogs or whatever. Or you can buy multiple and stack them up like that and do a special kind of sign. So I think those are great because it's just endless possibilities for those. They are beginning, they've been getting just so many different things of fabric and some of them weren't even craft or square. But the two I bought on this trip, um, these are by craft or square, but there's some others I bought that weren't craft or square. These are 18 by 21. They're 100% cotton. I bought this red one with the white paw prints. I thought that one was really cute. And then the other one, Again, it's 18 by 21, and this one has different doggies on it and a fire hydrant. And this doggie right here is what sold me on this fabric. Now, you can make little pillows with these. You can make little doll clothes. You could do little bing bags. It's just stuff like that. I mean, it's just endless, again, endless, endless possibilities. All right, staying with the uh, pet theme, I guess. Um, I dig them all out here. 
so used to doing my hauls on the floor, and now I do it on this teeny tiny couch. They're ribbon. Oh, they had so many different ones, cat and dog ones. And of course, since I have dogs, I bought all the dog ones except one. But this one I definitely had to get. These are by Floral Garden. They are called Pet Ribbon. You get nine feet, which is three yards. So that is what it looks like. And look at how cute the doggies are. There is a Frenchie and it looks like a pug. So yeah, definitely had to get that. And then the other one is white with some gold bones. And then they have this white one with the dog dish with the bone and paw prints. And then this one is like a goldy brown color with black paw prints. How cute are those. So yeah, definitely, definitely had to get those. Again, they had cat ones, but I don't have a cat, so I didn't need to get the cats. All right. Oh, where's the other one? Okay, they actually have three different colors of these. I only picked up two of the colors. This, I don't even know what the brand is. Is it Modern Canine? That's what it is. Scented Perfume Poop Bags. You get 20 of them and this really cool dispenser thing that can hook onto your leash, but it has like a bungee cord and then the little poop bags in, are in there and the top comes off like that to fill it up and everything. So I did buy some for my daughters because they all three have dogs. Addie has two dogs now. She has two corgis. If I have a picture, I'll put it right here. And then, of course, Gracie has Winnie, which is a long-haired dachshund. And then Sam has two Boston Terriers. So, yeah, we need a lot of poop bags. Oh, I think I showed you that one. The other one is gray. And I think the other color they had was, like, pink, I think. Pink, I think. All right, the other poop bag thingy I bought is by Greenbrier Kennel Club. It's a waste bag with dispenser with refillable hand sanitizer compartment. I thought that was interesting. It does have that on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this sucker open. And I just dropped the clip. So it does come with a clip. There's the little poopy bags. And, oh, there we go. That's where you put your hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Right there. And you can, oh, my. So isn't that smart? interesting. So we have that and then you can put your poop bags in there. And then, all right, don't mind me. I'm going to do my yoga. There we go. We got a clip right here and you're going to go in there like that and voila. It almost looks like a minion. Don't you think? Well, pick that up too. I thought these were really cute for Easter. These are silicone spatulas. This one says Cottontail Farms, Carrots, Chocolate, Eggs, and the pink one says Hoppy Easter. Now these would be even cute to glue on a board if you're going to do a sign or something. Like maybe something like that and put two different ones on here and you can add one of your bunnies and maybe put like hop to it or I don't know, something like that or put one of the fake carrots on there. I don't know. I don't know. But I just thought these were really, really cute. And let's see here. Oh, one, I think this is my last Easter item. So these are the printed felt bunny paws. You get 10 per pack. So these would be cute if you're going to do DIYs. Or you could um, maybe lay some of these around the house for your little ones when they're looking for their Easter eggs or Easter baskets to give them maybe clues or you can write clues on the back. So I thought those were really cute that you can do some fun stuff with. Um, they have three different things that went with these uh, Dow furniture, I guess you can say. They are, well, Ashton Dow outdoor furniture play sets. This is ages three and up. It does fit most 11 and a half do uh, size Dow, so like Monster High or what's that other one? Barbie, and I don't know what the other one is. But you can always do something else with these. So I went ahead and picked up this umbrella. It's a pretty good size, actually, 
but you could spray paint these if you don't have to keep it the way you buy it. So it comes with a little post here like that. Now this would be something really, really cute to do for maybe a candy land, maybe. You could use it as a piece of candy or like a lollipop. You could actually buy two of these, glue them together so it looks more 3D kind of. Or you can do like maybe some kind of bowl and spray paint it, put some fake sand in there, put some seashells, something along that line. So yeah, or you can just try to use it as an umbrella for yourself. And then the other set, the other one was a grill. I didn't need the grill, but I did get the outdoor furniture, which is the table and chairs. So you get the table and I think it comes with wheels. And again, you can always spray paint this. So, ooh, it comes with a lot of pieces. So I will not do that right now because I will not have patience to do that. So if I have time, I will put it together and show you right here on what that looks like. Again, spray paint it, do something else. You don't have to keep it that pink and white color. Um, here in Indiana, you don't have to wear face masks anymore. So... My husband was like, why are you buying that? You don't need that. You're not going to use it. If we had to wear a face mask, you're not going to use it. But you got to think outside the box. This is the use under your mask, breathe easy and stay cool. It's called a cool turtle. But before I even see or saw the uh, turtle name, I'm like, that would make a perfect, perfect turtle shell DIY. So that is why I bought these. Now, and get me, oh, I do have scissors. You're on it, Jenny. You are on it. I know. So let me cut this open. And so you get, what did I say, six? Yeah. Oh, my butt. Look at that. Perfect turtle shell. Even if you make something out of clay. Put that on top of your clay ball and make a little head or something and you have yourself a little turtle. I mean, what else would you do with that? I don't know. Could you wear it for like some kind of um, Halloween mask or like a little hat of some sort? I don't know. I don't know. But they are kind of, you know, they're bendy. Plastic. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait. Speaking of. Oh, that's going to be too big. They have these balls the outdoor toys. Um, you get three of them, ages four and up. Um, you could spray paint these and do something else with them. You can do multiple colors and make them like little beach balls or something. Yeah, that's not gonna, it's almost like a helmet for an army guy or something. I don't know, but I'm sure these will break right away. But my son plays wiffle ball all the time, so I figured, eh, we'll try it. Um, a few other items. This is by B Color. It's a three-in-one makeup brush set, eco-friendly design um, design that uses less plastic, space-saving for easy storage, travel-friendly. They had it in two different colors. They had it in this pinkish color and they had it in black. There is the back. And I am going to open this because, again, I love to open items to give you guys a closer look on these items. And I always try to give you my honest opinion so maybe that'll help you um, not spending the money instead of, you know, being disappointed. So, okay. So, eh, it's very plasticky. Get in there. So you put it in there and there you go. You have these. I don't know the quality doesn't, it's not there, you guys. And Kelly is not too, hmm. How do I say you put that on there? I don't know. It looks complicated. I'm sure it's something easy, but my patients are just like, eh, I don't know. Eh, I don't know about that one. But I only bought one. Um, but they did have these by Sassy and Chic. They're the dual ended uh, facial mask applicator scoop apply and remove face mask for mess free application these are the two colors they had a teal and pink again they have it on both sides now you could use since these are silicone for those that work with resin you could use this to maybe smooth out some of your resin or 
you know, whatever you, ooh, it's really, really silicone-y. Silicone-y. silly -cone That's not a word, is it? I don't think so. In Jenny's world, it is. But that is what that looks like. Kind of like a, like a shark fin. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even imagine a shark. Ugh, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it. Um, all right, a few other items. I know this isn't new, but I don't know if it's new for the company Be Pure. It's one of those jade massage things, but it just reminds me of a lily pad. So if you're going to do a DIY, if you want to do a turtle and a frog, well, there you go. You have your, your lily pad for your frog. You just got to buy a frog or make a frog of some sort. Did I just say that? Buy a frog, make a frog, something like that. Um, they had these up by the register. I love to get stuff like this and send it to my mother-in-law that lives there in uh, Grapevine, Texas. These are prayer cards. So you get 20 cards per pack. So the first one is this one. And then on the very back, it'll show you some of them that are in there. And then the next one is this one because she always loves to add this kind of stuff to all the cards she sends out to family and friends. So I did pick those up for her. And then a couple other items. I love keeping stuff like this um, in my car. So if I'm sitting waiting for someone or something, or if I'm getting like an oil change or whatever, I like to keep this kind of stuff with me to keep me busy so I'm not on my phone all the time. This is by Crown Jewel. I love how they have the bands and they're the crosswords. Now, if you have um, bad eyesight, I would definitely suggest to wear glasses because these are teeny tiny. Just remind you that you're getting old and you can't see, but that's just crosswords, so nothing too exciting, but um, but the last thing is one of those arcade mystery ball things and it says it has one of those light up swords of some sort but that is what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to stab my hand and i'm cursed when it comes to opening packages um ooh, the ball's kind of cool sparkly What is that? What are, you, what are you supposed to do? Pop. Oh. I think you're okay. Well, that's taken a long time. Well, I guess once it's done, I'll put a picture right here if it's um, done. Oh, it's starting to get kind of poofy. Well, that's dumb. Yeah. No, don't like that. Don't buy it. Waste of money. Waste of money. So save your dollar twenty-five. Cool ball though. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling.
Ha 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 